Hello yeah. students, welcome to the first session of 10th Standard State Board. My name is Swati Ma'am and in the previous video, I have explained you your paper pattern marking scheme regarding the subject science. So today, I am going to start with the first chapter of science 1 that is gravitation. So let us start with it. The name of the chapter is gravitation. So definitely, first we have to understand what do you mean by gravitation. What do you mean by gravitation? Whenever we hear this word gravitation, the first term which comes in our mind, the first fact which comes in our mind that is Earth's gravitation. What is that? If we throw any object upwards, it will fall back onto the Earth because Earth has a strong force of attraction which we know as Earth's gravity, that is gravitation. But let me clear you here. Gravitation is not only Earth's gravity. Yes, Earth has a force of attraction on every object around it. But gravitation is the force of attraction between any two objects in the universe. Are you getting me? Gravitation does not mean only the Earth's gravity. Gravitation is the force of attraction between any two objects in the universe. Means at present, if you are sitting in your room, there is a gravity between you and the every object around you. But the only thing is that we don't feel it. We don't experience it. Now, if you jump above the floor, will you fall back? Because of the Earth's gravity. At the same time. So, what is Earth's gravity? Earth is applying force of attraction on our body. At the same time, our body is also exerting force of attraction on the Earth. But, whose mass is more? Yes, correct. Earth's mass is more. It's not only more. There is a huge difference between our body weight and Earth's mass. That is why Earth's force of attraction is very very greater than our force of attraction. Hence, we get attracted towards Earth, not the Earth towards us. At the same time, let me give you an example. Suppose you two students are sitting on the same bench. There is a force of attraction between those two students also. But as the difference between their mass is not so huge, that is why they both have force of attraction, but it is not felt, it is not experienced. So understood? Gravitation means force of attraction between any two objects in the universe. Okay? So, the great scientist that is Newton have formulated one law on the basis of gravitation. We are going to study that law now. The law is Newton's universal law of gravitation. Newton's universal law of gravitation. What is gravitation? Force of attraction between any two objects. It is any two objects, living, non-living, any two objects in the universe. Hence, it is called as universal law of gravitation. So, to understand the law, we will take example. Suppose, there are two balls of mass M1 and M2. This is first ball of mass M1. This is second ball of mass M2. Now, are these any two objects in the universe? Yes. So, both of them attracts each other with the force of attraction that is F. Understood? But, these two objects are kept apart at a particular distance from each other. That distance we have to measure from there. Tell me, are we measuring the distance from the surface or from the center? Yes, we have to take that distance from their center. Suppose that distance is D. Are you getting that? Two objects of masses M1 and M2 are kept at a distance D. They are having gravitation between them. That is the force of attraction which is denoted as F. So, according to Newton's law of gravitation, there is a force of attraction between any two objects in the universe. This force of attraction is directly proportional to product of the masses of the object. Means, dono object ka mass ka multiplication. Are you getting that? The force of attraction is directly proportional to the product of their masses. Matlab, higher the mass, more will be the force of attraction. At the same time, this force of attraction is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the objects from their centers. 
are you getting here here force of attraction is directly proportional to product of their masses means mass will increase the force of attraction will also increase but here the force of attraction is inversely proportional inversely means as the distance between the two objects increases the force of attraction decreases very simple we can feel it or we can experience it with the help of magnet suppose it is a bar magnet having north pole and south pole and we keep few metallic pins near it ये मेटालिक पेंट जितने क्लोज होंगे उतना फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन ज्यादा होगा मैग्नेट विल इमीडिएटली अट्रैक्ट इट बट इफ व्हाट इफ विल कीप दिस पिंस ओवर हियर एज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स इंक्रीजेस द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन डिक्रीजेस सिंपली इट इज एक्सप्लेन इन न्यूटन्स यूनिवर्सल लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन सो व्हाट इज द लॉ बिटवीन एनी टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन द यूनिवर्स देयर इज अ फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन दैट इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ देयर मासेस and is inversely proportional to the square of their distance now we will then sum it it hence we can write a force of attraction is directly proportional to product of their masses and is inversely proportional to the square of the distance from their centers but we don't want this proportionality sign we will remove this proportionality sign and we'll put equal to sign but we know that whenever we remove the proportionality sign and in place we add a Equal to sign, we have to take a constant here. Here, the constant taken is denoted as g, g m one m two upon d square. What is g? G is known as universal gravitational constant. G is known as universal gravitational constant. now why it is called as universal gravitational constant in universe anywhere you go the value of g is always constant are you getting that so if you see here here we got the first formula of our lesson that is f is equal to g m1 m2 upon d square d means distance in place of d we can take r also here so it will here just change as r square both is allowed either you can take or you can take r now this we are talking about any two objects in the universe so what the formula we got here yes what is the formula we got here f is equal to g m1 m2 upon r square where g is the universal gravitational constant now instead of saying any two objects if out of the two objects one of the object is earth then what will be the formula the same formula will be written as f is equal to g as it is a constant its value will not change suppose the first object is earth whose mass will denote as capital f and the second object is any other objects we will denote it as small m upon capital r square what is this capital r see here suppose this is the earth is it earth's center from the center when will come to the surface of the earth yahan pe suppose you are standing here You are that another object having less mass as compared to us, so we have denoted it as a small m. Earth has a greater mass, so we have denoted it as capital M. So what is the distance between the two objects? Is it the radius of the Earth? That is a here we have written r square. Very simple. Are you getting that? So formula is same. Only you have to apply it differently in different conditions. When they tell you to find out the force of attraction between any two objects then which formula you will use g m1 m2 upon r square or d square but when out of the two object one of the object is earth then which formula we will use f is equal to g m m upon r square now here the very important thing what you have to remember is f is equal to g m m upon r square value of g value of g is constant which is g is equal to 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square upon kg square uh, this is si unit or cgs unit yes it is newton meter so it is si unit so this is the si value of g okay now this is discovered by the scientist all over the world okay now why newton meter square upon kg square from this formula we can get it dekho g ko idhar hi rakho ye sare idhar bhej do you rearrange it you will get 
g is equal to f r square it will go here upon ye yahan pe aa gaya to denominator pe aa jayega m m we know the if we know the value of force we know the value of radius of earth we know the value of mass of earth we know the uh, mass of the object now here what is the si unit of force newton what is radius meter as it is square here meter square mass into mass that is kg into kg is it kg square is it equivalent to here so the si unit of g is newton meter square upon kg square ya isko aise bhi likhte hain newton meter square kg raised to minus 2 raised to minus 2 kyunki denominator ka jab numerator pe aata hai to positive ka negative hota hai negative ka positive hota hai we have studied it in maths okay understood why i am telling you detail sabse pehla question number 1 a multiple choice question aata hai either they will give this as a fill up in mcq or you will get what is the si unit of g okay i hope everyone understood till here so then what will be the cgs value very simple ye to same milega 6.67 into cgs mein minus ho jayega 3 aur to here it will be 10 raised to minus 8 newton ka kya aata hai dyne meter ka kya aata hai centimeter square and kg ka kya aata hai gram raised to minus 2 so what you have to learn si unit and cgs unit si value and cgs value of g एग्जाम में ये फॉर्मूला पर बेस्ड हमको न्यूमरिकल सॉल्व करने आएंगे सम्स सॉल्व करने आएंगे ये वैल्यू पेपर में नहीं दिया होता है यू हैव टू लर्न इट बिकॉज इट इज अ कांस्टेंट वैल्यू यू हैव टू लर्न इट टू मोर वैल्यूज मास ऑफ द अर्थ एंड रेडियस ऑफ द अर्थ वो भी हमेशा कॉन्स्टेंट ही रहेगा सो वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ मास ऑफ द अर्थ सिक्स इंटू टेन रेस टू ट्वेंटी फोर किलोग्राम इज द मास ऑफ अवर अर्थ वट इज द रेडियस ऑफ द अर्थ 6.4 पॉइंट फोर इंटू टेन रेस टू सिक्स मीटर रिमेंबर एस आई वैल्यू ऑफ जी मास ऑफ अर्थ एंड रेडियस ऑफ अर्थ दीज थ्री वैल्यूज यू हैव टू बाय हार्ट एग्जाम में ये फॉर्मूला पर बेस्ट सम्स आएंगे आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोन टू प्रैक्टिस सम्स दैट टाइम रिमेंबर वन थिंग दीज थ्री वैल्यूज यू हैव टू बाय हार्ट ओके करना पॉज